Um, let's see, what else? Another way that I've uh, added uh, to quickly find your music is uh, universal search. Um, go ahead and just start typing. So let's say I want to find something with dance in it. So I'm just typing dance. And now it's going to find all the songs, albums, artists, genres, playlists, anything with the word dance in it. And once I find that, if I find a particular song I want, I can go ahead and tap on that, and it's going to load that into a new playlist. Or, let's say um, this particular album, I want it to add to the current playlist. Let me go ahead and hit the plus icon. A menu is going to appear, and I can say play after the current song. And now, that album has been added after the current song in the current playlist. So it's an incre incredibly powerful and easy, easy way to find your music. You know, so let's say, hello, oop, I have to spell it right, by R Lionel Richie. If I wanted to add that to the current playlist, I could do that. I can also add it to the end of the current playlist. So if I wanted to, if I was listening to a particular album and I didn't want to interrupt what I was listening to, but I wanted to play it after the current album, I could do that as well. Um, I could also fave anything I do in, in Universal Search, and I could add it to a fly, li a fly list as well. So let me fave that. Um, let me go back to the home screen, and now it's been added as a fave. So Universal Search is another um, incredibly powerful way to find your music. Um, also, you have keyboard controls. Um, so you can pause and play your music um, with keyboard controls. So you can do it with the space bar. You can go forward a track with the period key. You can go backwards with this key. And you can enter preview mode with the sim and, and uh, uh, caps lock keys. So I could actually preview my music with the keyboard without even touching the screen. And if I wanted to select a previewed song, just hit the, the space bar, and it selects that song. Um, also, while in preview mode, you can hit the Q button to queue up that song to play next. So I did uh, Dire Straits, I think it was, and there it is. The next thing I want to talk about are WebOS notification icons. These are small... Let me pause that. <laughs> These are small icons that appear at the bottom of the screen. Normally apps use these as a way to notify users of an event, such as a new email or SMS message. On rare occasions, apps use these, use these in a more unique way. The built-in music app does this by providing a set of basic music controls available to you as you use other apps. Music Player Remix takes this concept to another level, one that as far as I know has never been done in any webOS app. I've implemented what I call the mini player. When you minimize the app, a notification area will appear and you'll see three icons. When you tap on it, you have a full mini player that you have accessible to you at all times when you're using other apps. So let me go over each one separately. The first one is a progress bar. So let me go ahead and play the music. You're going to see it's going to be updating and it's an interactive progress bar. So I can tap anywhere on here and it's going to update um, where you are in the song. The second, let me pause this, the second one is your basic music controls. So the built-in music app, you know, had a nice um, dashboard area, but the problem was is that all the music controls were kind of bunched together and it was very difficult to use. This is very finger friendly. Um, you tap anywhere in here and it's going to play and pause your music. You tap here, and it's going to go to the next track. And by the way, the, the, the song information will scroll if it needs to. And then you go to the previous track, you can do that as well. The top one is your preview mode. So you can actually, while it's playing, preview your music and not interrupt the current song. And then you can choose a song once you find one that you want to. So this is, um, this is incredibly powerful to use um, while you're using other apps. 
And as far as I know, no other WebOS app has ever used the dashboard in this um, extremely advanced way. And as you notice, the wallpaper from the app is actually used on the mini player. Um, and so let's talk about wallpapers a little bit. Let's go back to the home screen. Um, as you notice, I'm using a custom wallpaper, and you can customize the wallpaper to be anything you like, and it really changes the way you use the app, or the, it changes the way the app looks. Um, you'd be amazed at how, when you change the wallpaper, how much it changes the, the look of the app. Um, the app has been, um, has added uh, semi-transparent panes all throughout the app, so you can really use any wallpaper you'd like, which is really different from... Um, the original homebrew version of Music Player Remix. Um, the original homebrew version had wallpaper customization, but because you didn't have the semi-transparent panes on top of it, you couldn't use um, most wallpapers. You only had to. You only had. Uh, you could only use basically dark, really dark ones or really light ones. But with this, but with this, with these uh, semi-transparent panes, you can really use any type of wallpaper. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can choose any wallpaper image I'd like, and it'll use that as the wallpaper. Another option is to use the device's wallpaper. Um, let me show you a cool feature of that. So my device's wallpaper is flowers, but when you minimize it, it makes it transparent, um, the card. So that's a really cool feature of it is is that the card itself is now basically semi-transparent, which is re a really cool effect. Um, and then it resizes itself when it maximizes. Um, let's see, what else? Um, let me go back. Actually, I didn't show you how you can uh, choose one. So let me go back. This is another one I like. Let me show you some different ones that change the look of the app. Um, Imagine what the app will look like like this. Let's see, let's choose this one. And you see how much the app changes um, when, when, you ha when you change the wallpaper. It's, it's incredible. Um, I, have other, I have a few other features on tap to be included in Music Player Remix 2.0 when it hits the app catalog later this year. And if you have any I other ideas you'd like to share, um, post a response to this video or come on over to the precentral.net forums and drop a comment in the Hidami developer subforum. But for now, um, this is basically a good preview of Music Player Remix 2.0. Um, thank you for watching.